Can I get sugared if I'm pregnant? Does sugaring burn the skin and hair? If I'm on my period, can I still get sugared? Hello everybody, I'm Shane and welcome back. Today I'll be talking with you guys about some questions that a few clients as well as other people on social media have written to me regarding sugaring and I hope that with these 10 questions it will help you understand more about what sugaring is and the benefits of it. So the first question is, is it true that sugaring lightens the skin? So sugaring does give a mild lightening effect to the skin by removing any of the dead skin cells and so when you do remove the dead skin cells you are actually revealing the new fresh skin that's underneath the skin as you remove some of the hairs. If you are looking for any products that will lighten up the skin or even out the skin tone from pigmentation, from acne, or from aging, I would recommend you speaking with your esthetician or dermatologist on some products and ingredients to help lighten it. So with the second question, it asks... I want to try sugaring because waxing is too hot on my skin. Does sugaring burn the skin and hair? So with that question, um, sugaring does not burn the skin or the hair because usually the sugar that is actually molded onto the skin is uh, made up of um, lemon water sugar that's only heated up to room temperature. And when it's heated up to room temperature, we actually use the temperature of your skin. And so you shouldn't experience any heat from sugaring. I do know that with other products, like when you're doing soft wax or hard wax, you do have to require heat in order to actually melt the product down to the consistency that it has to be in order to um, work it onto the skin. So moving on to question three, it asks, why does my skin peel sometimes with soft wax? You should always let your esthetician know if you are taking any acne medication. Some of the medication that are topical or orally could thin the skin out and that way um, the skin does become a little bit more sensitive to lifting. We have to make sure to test the heat of the soft wax first before we apply it onto um, any of the clients. Another thing that could be happening is that your skin is just sensitive. And if your skin is sensitive, be sure to let your professional know. And a trick for professionals is if you're working with soft wax and you know that someone has um, sensitive skin, add a little bit of oil onto a cotton pad or a cotton ball and gently um, wipe it against the skin. And then you can apply your wax and your strips. The oil works as a barrier onto the skin and will help with any lifting. Moving on to question four, someone asks, if I'm on my period, can I still get sugared? The answer is absolutely. You can definitely get sugared if you're on your period. All that you have to do is that when you arrive, you go to the restroom and apply a fresh tampon and then tuck the string. Or you can choose to apply a cup and then you will be good. And if this is something that you're uncomfortable with, you can reschedule for the following week. So question five asks, when can I go swimming? So you can go swimming after about 24 to 48 hours. And of course, pay attention to your body. If you feel like the area still feels kind of like sensitive, then just stay out of the water for maybe like three days and you should be Moving good. Moving on to question six, can I get sugared if I'm pregnant? Okay, so I love this question because um, you anybody can get sugared. Sugaring is great for anybody who has sensitive skin, and even if you are pregnant, you can get sugared. I have clients that come at every stage of their pregnancy. I even have clients who come in even two weeks before their due date. Of course, you should always talk with your doctor if you have any concerns or if you have any skin conditions. We are going to go on to question seven. Does sugaring hurt and... What can I do to help the pain? Yes, sugaring does hurt. Um, yes, I'm not gonna lie, sugaring does hurt, especially if it's your first time. A couple things that you can do to help alleviate the pain is that you can start exfoliating two to three weeks leading up to your appointment, spending about like 40 seconds to a minute on the certain areas that you do want to get sugared um, will help with that. And what that does is that that allows the um, skin and the pores around the hair to loosen up a little bit as well as um, it's a little bit less painful. And then on the day of your appointment, try not to drink any coffee as that does tighten the pores around the hair. Oh, and also what you can do on the day of your appointment is that 
about 30 minutes leading up to your appointment, you can apply a, a numbing spray or a numbing cream onto the area. And then um, when you do arrive, then we could just clean that area up and then we can start sugaring. Ooh, okay, I like question eight. Do you enjoy your job? And the answer for this is yes, I love my job. I love my job because I am able to help women feel confident and beautiful and clean about who they are. And, you know, I am really happy that I am able to provide a space for women to feel comfortable because I've seen so many different skins, so many different shapes, so many different colors and textures. I work as a professional to make you feel comfortable in your own skin. And I just hope that I am able to spread the word of self-care and to allow more people to go out feeling lighter and better about their day. Going on to question nine, I want to try sugaring myself. Can I make my own? So with this question, I would never recommend you making your own sugar or sugaring yourself. And this reason is because when you're not trained on how to um, work with the skin, because then you can get into sticky situations or even cause some bruising or even peel your skin if you're not doing it correctly. And I know that there are people that are watching my videos or other people's videos and are trying to um, sugar themselves. My one advice would be to do some research and look at ingredients that are natural and clean. And also, if you are sugaring yourself, you should try to uh, work in small sections first so that you don't cause any accidents. Okay, so we're reaching question 10. It asks, I just shaved this week. How long should I wait until I book a sugaring session? Good question. So if you just shaved, you should wait at least two to three weeks to allow the hair to grow at least one fourth inch or the length of a pinky nail. That is about the right amount of hair for us to sugar you. So we finally finished all the 10 questions. I hope that my answers were helpful for you. If you guys do want more videos about sugaring or about all the other beauty stuff that I do, you can also let me know. 